Introduction to BIM and TurboCAD. Hello, today we're diving into the world of BIM and how it's supported in TurboCAD Platinum. So what exactly is BIM? BIM, or Building Information Modeling, is much more than just creating three-dimensional designs. It's an intelligent, collaborative process that enables architects, engineers, and professionals from various disciplines to work on a shared, data-rich model throughout the entire life cycle of a project, from conception to construction and even maintenance. This means that BIM doesn't just focus on visual representation, but also integrates critical data about materials, structure, costs, and performance. It's a paradigm shift in the way we approach design and collaboration in the construction industry. One crucial aspect of BIM is the use of IFC, or Industry Foundation Classes, which act as a universal standard for sharing and integrating BIM data between different software platforms. This open format ensures interoperability, allowing CAD users to seamlessly exchange data and collaborate, even using different tools. TurboCAD Platinum excels in this domain by offering smooth import and export of IFC files to ensure compatibility, support for parametric building objects, making design changes dynamic and flexible, advanced layer management for precise organization. Let's now explore how you can leverage BIM tools in TurboCAD to make your workflow more efficient and your designs easier to maintain. Adding BIM attributes to a basic diagram to start with, let's look at a basic example in TurboCAD. Here, we have two rectangles that have been extruded to form slabs. These represent floor elements, and we'll use them to illustrate how BIM is applied. First, we need to enable BIM in TurboCAD. You can do this by navigating to Tools, IFC BIM Data, or simply enabling BIM via the BIM Palette. Once enabled, the BIM Properties dialog box will appear. Here you'll find predefined categories such as project, site, buildings, and building stories. For this example, we'll focus on buildings. By default, a building is created, but we'll add two more, one named school, and another named parking lot. Now you can see both buildings displayed under the IFC Building Stories hierarchy. One of BIM's primary purposes is to modularize your designs, creating a clear and logical structure. Right now, both of our slabs are listed under the default building as generic IFC Building Element Proxy Objects. Let's assign these slabs to their respective buildings. To do this, go to Tools BIM Tool, select a slab, and open the BIM Tool dialog box. From here, we'll assign the first slab to the school. We'll set its type as Slab, assign it to School, and name it School Floor Slab. After selecting the appropriate property set for slabs, click OK. Repeat the process for the parking lot slab. Assign its type as slab. Set its parent as parking lot. Name it Parking Lot Slab and confirm the property set. Once you refresh, the hierarchy updates to reflect these changes. While some elements may still be under the default building, this can be easily adjusted later.
Now, when you select any slab and check its properties, you'll see the relevant IFC or BIM attributes have been assigned. This modular approach keeps your designs organized and intuitive. Exploring BIM attributes in a more complex model. Here's a more detailed example, a simple house model. We've made the drawing semi-transparent, allowing you to see through walls for easier object selection. Notice the hierarchy within the BIM palette. At the top level, you have the building itself. Selecting the building highlights all its components. Beneath the building, you'll find building stories, in this case the ground floor and first floor. Selecting these stories highlights all associated objects. One of the advantages of TurboCAD's BIM tools is the ability to interact with either the drawing directly or the BIM palette. For instance, selecting a door in the palette also highlights it in the drawing and vice versa. Objects outside the building, such as trees or landscape elements, can also be managed separately. For example, Selecting a tree in the drawing identifies it as external and not part of the building's hierarchy. This functionality is incredibly useful for complex designs with multiple buildings and stories. It ensures you can quickly locate, select, and modify objects with ease, saving time and reducing errors. Here are some more examples of the selection. In conclusion, BIM and IFC are game-changing tools for CAD users. BIM enables a data-driven, collaborative approach to design, while IFC ensures interoperability across software platforms, making collaboration seamless and efficient. TurboCAD empowers you to harness these technologies to streamline your workflow and create smarter, more manageable models. Thank you for taking the time to explore BIM and IFC with us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.